Hey there, I'm Mike Cermak from the Tech Support Guy website. You can go to techguy.org for your tech support needs, but today we're talking about holiday lights. This is a video from our house from last year. We've been doing a light show for about 15 years, since seeing a video on YouTube and thinking, we can do that. When we started, we used a program called Lightsorama, or LOR. It allows you to use standard store-bought lights and connect them to controllers that can turn the lights on or off in whatever pattern you want. Around each window and door, we would wrap a set of white lights, blue lights, green lights, and red lights, and by turning on each set of lights at the right moment, we could make it look as though we were changing the colors. At one time, we had a lot of these controllers. A whole lot. We've replaced all of our store-bought lights with special LEDs called WS2811. These special LEDs are not available in stores. You can find them on Amazon, but most people in this hobby prefer to order them from a handful of reputable vendors and sometimes order directly from the manufacturers in China. What makes these LEDs special is that each one has a microchip inside that allows me to tell each bulb exactly what to do. Instead of telling a whole strand of lights to turn on or off, I can tell this specific bulb to be blue or green or any shade that I want. That allows me to create some pretty amazing effects and even show text or graphics. For these smart LEDs to know what to do, they need a controller to send them commands. This controller is a popular brand called Falcon and is highly recommended. The controller gets the data from a computer, which I'll show you in a minute, and then sends the data out to the LEDs through these special cables. I use these three core connectors, which are very popular, but be aware that there are several different styles out there and they're not all compatible with one another. The controller sends both data and DC power out to the LEDs. Power is provided by this 12 volt power supply. You wire it up to your AC 120 volts from your house. It provides 12 volts to the controller, which then sends 12 volts and data out to all of the LEDs. There are several controllers like this that operate the show, but the brains of the operation is a Raspberry Pi. Each controller has an Ethernet cable that goes back to the garage. In this case, the Ethernet cable goes under the steps through a little door that I had them install when the steps were built. And finally, all of the Ethernet cables eventually lead to the garage. Here I've got this little switch that connects the light show network together, but the brains of the show is really this Raspberry Pi. It basically takes the program we've written for each song and sends it out through the Ethernet cable to each controller. Also connected to the Raspberry Pi is an audio cable that connects to our FM transmitter. Our transmitter is set for 1065 FM. It has this little antenna on the back. It's a very low-powered transmitter to keep with FCC regulations, but it works for us as it only needs to transmit to across the street. The star of our show has turned out not to be the lights themselves, but the big guy upstairs. This effect is pretty believable when seen in person, and several local kids believe that this is Santa's house. And even my own kids aren't too sure. Who's that? Hello. Say Santa Claus. Good! Who is that? The magic is as simple as a fabric sheet hung in front of the window and a projector at the edge of the second floor landing. The projector is connected to another Raspberry Pi which controls the playback of the Santa video. It's also connected to the projector via a serial cable so that it can turn the projector on and off each night. Hardware is only half of the story here. I no longer use Lightorama to create the light sequences for each song. Instead, a few years ago, we switched to X-Lights. X-Lights is a completely free, open-source project designed to create light shows just like this one. You draw out where your lights are located, design lighting effects on top of them and along a timeline, and then upload them to the Raspberry Pi. Writing the sequence for each song usually takes hours of time, though. This is a fun and rewarding hobby, but it is very time-consuming. Of course, this video is intended just to give a quick overview of how a light show works. I couldn't possibly go over every detail in a five-minute video. Fortunately, there's a great community that's been built up around X-Lights. Head over to xlights.org and you'll find free webinars, free support via Zoom, and links to the official X-Lights support group on Facebook, where you can get all of your questions answered. 
there's great people there volunteering again it's free software uh, check it out and uh, I could go into you know 12 volt versus 5 volt pixels pixels nodes like these versus strips I prefer the nodes obviously um, and there's a lot more to learn but it's getting cold out here it's getting dark out here and we've got people across the street watching the show so it's time to go in have a good night everyone happy holidays